As the episode begins, we see Applejack, Apple Bloom, and Granny Smith talking about the upcoming Apple Family reunion. Granny Smith looks over a scrapbook, reminiscing about all the other reunions that she's hosted over the years, and we actually get a lot of information here. First, we learn that this event takes place once every hundred moons. You might recall that the last Apple Family reunion was held during the season one premiere, and that was even confirmed later in Apple Buck season. What about all those relatives I met when I first came to Ponyville? Can't they help? Yeah, they were just here for the Apple family reunion. So, while we aren't given an exact time frame like months or years, we do at least get some idea of when this is taking place. Second, we get a series of flashbacks that introduce a few new characters that will show up a little bit later, as well as giving us a glimpse of Applejack and Granny Smith when they were younger. And finally, perhaps the most important thing of all, Holy crap, these pictures move! Oh, what it must be like to be a muggle pony in a unicorn world. And meanwhile, Apple Bloom is just excited to see her... favorite cousin, Babs. Okay, I know they made up at the end of One Bad Apple, and honestly, I do like Babs better in this episode, but I still think favorite cousin is pushing it a bit. I mean, seriously, they almost killed each other last time. What have Apple Bloom's other cousins done that Babs automatically qualifies as her favorite? In any case, Applejack offers to take over organizing the event this time, and I really have to give the episode credit here. Normally, the show really struggles when it comes to giving Applejack a lesson to learn. For a while, she kept learning the same thing over and over. Over. Then she didn't learn anything because she already had the right answer, though so that was actually pretty clever. This time she's actually facing a new problem, and it doesn't involve her getting in over her head or stubbornly avoiding her friends. Instead, the problem here is that she's actually too good at her job. She's so focused on making sure everyone has stuff to do that she forgets what the day is supposed to be about. A family reunion, assuming you actually like your family, is about spending time with relatives that you care about but don't get to see very often. The activities are just there to help facilitate that, a point that Applejack misses as she turns a short race into an Olympic event and interrupts two ladies talking about their kids for the sake of keeping the fritter assembly line moving. She even interrupts Granny Smith's conversation with a gas-powered sewing machine so that Granny can finally finish that quilt she's been working on for years with her aunt and cousin, as if finishing the thing is even a realistic goal at this point. And to Applejack's credit, she sets everything up just fine, but now everyone else gets overwhelmed. For them, this isn't a fun get-together anymore. It's work. And everything's wound up so tightly that the slightest mishap leads to the main barn being destroyed. Though I don't know, we've seen other barns getting built up or torn down. I wonder how many barns they actually have. In any case, this is a big deal for a couple of reasons. Because the day was supposed to end with a family photo in front of that barn, and because this is the first Apple family reunion in Granny Smith's lifetime where the entire family is in attendance. So Applejack not only feels like she messed up hosting her first reunion, but potentially the most important reunion in the family family's history. Thankfully, Granny Smith is there to put things in perspective and let her know that, yeah, you screwed up big time. I mean, it's okay and all, but yeah. I have to say, though, this is my favorite episode with Granny Smith. She isn't just a walking stereotype or a crazy old dingbat losing her marbles. Here, she's a fully realized character with her own life and her own friends, and it's the first time we see her acting like a motherly figure to Applejack. This is the kind of development I was hoping for in Family Appreciation Day. Applejack then tries one last time to salvage the day by leading a barn raising. Now, every actress in the main cast brings something unique to the show. With Ashley Ball, she's the only one who plays two main characters and does her own singing for both of them. And in addition to voice acting, she's also the lead singer in a band called Hey Ocean. And although Daniel Ingram tends to give her the best parts in the group songs, she's the only one who hasn't had a solo song for either of her characters until now. And what I'm getting at is, Ashley getting her own song on the show is something a lot of people were really excited for. And it's a barn raising song. <laughs> what can I say? I'm just not the right person to talk about this. It's performed well, it's appropriate for the character, and I appreciate it in the same way that I appreciate the Beverly Hillbillies theme song or... Oh, Bloss, what the devil do kids watch these days? King of the Hill? Yeah, I'm just not a fan of anything resembling country music. The barn raising itself, however, is very meaningful, as we see the family pulling together, and in rebuilding the barn to take the picture, they're also reinforcing their family tradition. It was a great way to end the episode. Just please... Please, never make Applejack say, get her done, again. I'm not even sure if that's an actual southern thing, but I'm sorry. Larry the Cable Guy made everyone sick of that phrase forever. It's not your fault, it's just how it is.
I give Apple Family Reunion a very solid 8 out of 10. But there is one little matter left over. If the entire Apple Family really is here, then how come we still don't see Applejack's parents? Well, according to a storyboard artist on the show, they're represented by two shooting stars at the end, apparently confirming once and for all that they really are dead. Good night, everybody.